The UW basketball team, of course, rose to fame this year with their Final Four season, but some players are learning with fame comes a price. NBC 15's Christy Diamond explains one athlete found his name at the center of a social media scheme. Last night, UW point guard Bronson Koenig put out a tweet warning people that there's an imposter running a fake Snapchat account of him. I got my hands on a search warrant showing this isn't the first time it's happened. In one case in May, even had police involved. With standout seasons, Bronson Koenig and Sam Decker are names often seen in headlines, but not in police reports. We had a couple of high school age girls in Verona that were contacted by some well-known, or somebody purporting to be well-known, University of Wisconsin athletes. Verona Police Lieutenant Dave Dresser says someone posing as the athletes solicited young girls into sending nude pictures the night before the Big Ten championship game. According to a search warrant filed in May, two girls reported sending pictures to Snapchat users B. Koenig2424 and Sam Decker15, but soon realized the accounts were fake. They figured it out pretty quickly once they realized the photographs that were being posted were already posted on social media sites. So they're basically photographs that were being reused, and that was their hint to them that they were dealing with an imposter and not the real athletes. Koenig sent out a tweet in April warning people about a fake account, saying, apparently there's a Snapchat imposter of me, so I apologize whatever he, she has said. Sorry about that. Dresser says this situation is unfortunately common. We spoke to some of the athletes, uh, did some interviews to, to rule them out as suspects, and um, they're getting accustomed to it. They're, they're well known. Um, they don't really want to call themselves celebrities, but at the same point they do. They're known in the state of Wisconsin and beyond. Celebrities or not, Dresser reminds you, you just never know who's on the other end of the message. This is a problem that's here to stay, and all we can do is encourage people to be safe and make good decisions. Though police determined Sam Decker and Bronson Koenig were not behind these accounts, they weren't able to pinpoint who was. Even with searching IP addresses, they came up with nothing. But D Lieutenant Dresser says it's likely the imposter is from the area and knows the Verona High School girls who were targeted.